In this lesson, we are going to uh, model the example of force calculation that corresponds to the lesson 3 of the force and moments tutorial. Uh, the objective is to associate to the four bar model a spring that is an extension spring that apl applies a force and uh, to calculate the actuation moment that should be applied on the four bar in order to compensate the effect of this uh, spring force. First step, I'm going to create the spring on the 4-bar linkage. So we just represent a line to model the spring. I'm going to say this spring end here should be located on the lower segment of the 4-bar. And we should have a distance measurement between the end of the spring and the lower left corner of the 4-bar. So I'm going to say that this distance should be 100 millimeters. Then I'm going to create the force applied by this uh, spring. So this force, here I'm going to call it uh, SF, like uh, spring force. The goal is to calculate this force. Um, I'm also going to associate a length to the segment we created. So this length measurement can be called um, spring length, SL. Uh, then I'm going to create some variables. So I'm going to say we have a variable called um, the stiffness of the spring. So I'm going to say this is k and the value of k is going to be 1.5 uh, newtons per millimeters. Then I'm going to create a variable called fl, like free length. And the value of fl is going to be um, 90 millimeters. Okay, and then I'm simply going to calculate the spring force. So we enter an equation, SF is equal to K multiplied by uh, the uh, spring length minus the free length. I validate. Okay, so now the, the equation is created and validated. The spring force is calculated. So now we... Uh, can uh, solve the other forces that are present on this 4-bar. So we are going to have one force going up on the uh, bar that is here and one force going down on this bar. So now I'm going to uh, unlock those two forces, unlock this one and this one, and then do the sum of forces in X and Y. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to say we have a force applied on the upper bar that will go towards the left and that will be equal and opposite to the uh, joint force here at the top. And next we are going to create uh, the actuation moment of this 4-bar. So the actuation moment uh, is going to be calculated simply by saying that uh, the sum of the moments applied on this segment should be zero sum of the moments of this force and of this moment should be zero at the point of rotation. So um, then if we rotate the 4-bar, we will see that at every step the actuation moment gets uh, recalculated.